All right, in this lab, we're going to create a solution with a known molarity. And so we're going to weigh out a sample of baking soda, we're going to create a solution, and then we're going to calculate the molarity. We're going to start the virtual chem lab and select reactions and stoichiometry, and then select create a lab with a known solution. So reactions and stoichiometry, and it's, sorry, it's creating a solution of known molarity. Now look, there's a solution of known molality and molarity. Make sure you choose molarity, okay? We're not dealing with molality right now. Okay, so here is our laboratory. They already have the baking soda out, um, or sodium bicarbonate is another word for that. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to drag an empty beaker to the spotlight and then we're going to measure out some of the sodium bicarbonate and record the mass in the data table. And the data table is here. Now everybody's going to get a different mass. So we're going to walk through this. Um, but you need to, again, do this on your own. Use your own data. Don't use the data here. So when we zoom in, we are going to take the lid off. We're going to move a piece of filter paper. We're going to tear the balance. And then we're going to take a scoop and, again, drag it across. And then we're going to let it lock there and pour out a little bit there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the beaker. Okay, we're going to zoom out and we're going to move our beaker. Get rid of that beaker, what he's doing there. I can get rid of him. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to move the beaker um, with the sodium hydroxide. I like to put it here. It's the sodium bicarbonate. Now, they have you do something kind of weird here, um, and we're, we're going to follow a little bit different procedure. We are going to um, take our 50 milliliter graduated flask, it's right here, and we're going to fill it up with water. And then once it's full, it's going to snap back, and then we're going to take it over here, and we're going to pour it in there. And that's how we're going to make our solution. They have you drag this over here and do all sorts of weird things. But that's how we're going to make our solution. So that's the solution that we had. Again, you, you're going to use 50 milliliters, right? Make sure you convert that to liters, okay? And we have your mass. You need to convert that to moles using the molecular weight. Um, and then you will calculate the molarity. Make sure you show your work for this mass to moles conversion, okay? There, you can do it over here to the side, but show your work for mass to moles. And then you'll want to show your work for the calculation of the molarity here.